Genesis chapter 48 presents a poignant moment as Jacob blesses his grandsons Ephraim and Manasseh, affirming the themes of lineage, inheritance, and the continuation of God's covenant promises. Joseph receives word that his father, Jacob, is ill, and he visits him with his two sons. Jacob's health is failing, and he gathers his strength to impart his blessings on the next generation. However, his eyes are dim with age, and he cannot see clearly. Joseph positions his sons before Jacob, with Manasseh, the firstborn, on Jacob's right and Ephraim on his left. But Jacob, guided by a divine insight, crosses his hands, placing his right hand on Ephraim and his left on Manasseh. Joseph objects, attempting to correct the placement. But Jacob insists, declaring that Ephraim will become greater than Manasseh. In this act of crossed hands and prophetic blessing, Jacob sets an extraordinary precedent, reflecting God's tendency to choose the younger over the elder for his purposes. Jacob blesses Ephraim and Manasseh, invoking God's name and invoking the blessings of Abraham and Isaac, the forefathers of the family. He foretells that these two sons of Joseph will be as his own sons, receiving a portion of the inheritance alongside their uncles. The chapter underscores the theme of God's sovereignty, as Jacob's choice to bless Ephraim over Manasseh aligns with God's divine will. This event also exemplifies the importance of lineage, and the blessings passed from one generation to another. Jacob's crossing of hands symbolizes the unconventional ways in which God works, often choosing the unexpected and overturning societal norms. This prophetic act serves as a microcosm of the broader biblical narrative where God consistently challenges human expectations and orchestrates his plan according to his divine wisdom. Genesis chapter 48 affirms the enduring nature of God's covenant promise, as Jacob's blessings link the present generation to the covenant established with Abraham and Isaac. The blessings bestowed upon Ephraim and Manasseh contribute to the unfolding story of God's plan for his people. This chapter serves as a reminder that God's choices and blessings transcend human conventions and expectations. It underscores the significance of spiritual inheritance and the way God's sovereignty is interwoven with human history, guiding and shaping the course of events according to his divine purpose.